let's jump right into this unboxing here of the Surface Duo. Really excited to check this out because it's very rare we get sort of new, interesting tech, you know, something different, something unique that we can, you know, try to test out new sort of computing forms here. That's always cool to kind of have. I also got the slim pen with it as well here too, uh, to go along with it. So we'll also unbox that while we're doing this here. And hopefully, I, did I unpull that? Yep, I did. Pull that out, right, here we go. All right, and we'll definitely be doing the um, timestamps below as well too. So you can kind of track what you want to track here. Let's go ahead and pop this box open. Slowly, come on, come on. There we go. Put that to the side. This is my first time actually touching a surface. Wow. This is actually a lot smaller than I expected, actually. Wow, that is small. All right, let's see what else we have here in the box. Yeah, where's that? The duo bumpers, especially designed to protect your device. We'll definitely attach these probably later on or maybe during this video. Okay, kind of gives you instruction on how to do it. Come back to that. What else we have inside of here? What goodies are they giving us for the price tag here? SIM card. All right, and directions in a SIM card tool. All right, I'm not sure what SIM will add in there just yet. Pop this up in here. It's probably the power adapter. Feels like as such. It's a lot of box for a power adapter. Jeez, that's a lot of box for it. And this thing's slim though. The USB-C, of course. Nice. Looks like it's uh, 18 watts. Think it's that in focus. Yep, 18 watts. All right. Not too bad. I would like it to be more around 25 watts of power, be a little bit better, but oh well. Here we go. It's in here. Probably the USB cable. Yep. Pretty nice thick USB cable. Always like when they're thick like this. Much nicer. Actually, these remind me of the ones that used to come with the Windows phones when they did the Lumia. Oh, I can't remember the num the number of that one. It's one of the last ones they put out that had um that had a continuum on it, which was a great product too early in its time, unfortunately. All right, all right. So let's uh, focus on this stuff right here in the middle. All right, let's go ahead and unpeel the surface here itself. Ooh, nice. Pop off, or, or does it open up inside? Oh, it does. Oh, so it goes all the way around, okay. Oh, we got a little bit of appeal, I think. Or, yeah. oh, there we go. Not appeal, kind of a tear. But okay. This is my first time so touching a Surface Duo. Nice. It's actually pretty, pretty small in the hand. My hands are obviously massive. You can kind of see here. Open it up. Oh, all right. That's cool. Let's go ahead and start to power up on this get things set up ready to go hopefully there's a little bit of juice there we go let that go let me grab another phone here to compare it in size let's take a look here right, pull this over pull this over there you go powered by android never thought never thought five six years ago that'd be something we'd be seeing from microsoft but yet here we are all right before I go through the setup here real quick, I'm just going to do a comparison in size. This is my Note 20 Ultra here. You can kind of see nearly thin. I think I'll take the case off on this for a better comparison. You can kind of see there. Not too bad. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Pop this back out here. Let's go through the setup process. The highest are probably overblown in this video, but that's okay. So I'm assuming there's gotta be some updates for this. Yep, day one updates about 259 megabytes. All right, let's go ahead and let that update. I just moved right over there to the second screen. All right, let's update take, takes over my salon. What do we have next here? Okay, so we're stuck on this particular screen here. So we'll let this go ahead and roll through and do the updates. And then once it's done, we'll go ahead and come back and uh, continue the setup. All right, looks like after that update, it brought us back into basically the start of the setup here. Go ahead, English, continue. Set up mobile network, we'll skip that. Internet connection is already connected, hit next. We'll go ahead and check for updates. 
All right, looks like we can bring our data from another device, but we're not going to do that in this particular setup. Let's take a look here. This feels really nice in the hand. It really does. Pretty comfortable. All right, got to do our Google account signing in here. So just give us a moment for that. All right, account signed in. Now just waiting for the rest of the setup to complete up. Just waiting for it. Setting up with Google Assistant. Cool. All right. Yep, hit next. I should already know that I'm set up with this. Yep, sure. Voice match. Yep, it already recognizes me. Cool. All right, we got warranty information. Sign in with Microsoft. Yeah, let me do that as well too now. All right, after getting that set up, it's time to set up a pin on here. Go ahead and do that. Okay, here, time to add a fingerprint, which we can do right here on the side. So we'll go ahead and do this. Add our thumb here in a few different places. To make sure it gets the whole thing. All right, fingerprint add. Looks like we can add another one if we wanted to. Maybe we'll do that a little bit later. Adding the finishing touches. All right, let's open this up here. Getting started with your Surface Duo. Let's see what we have. All right, go to your home screen. Go back. All right, it's teaching you the gestures here. Should be simple enough, I assume, to figure out. Move between screens. Maximize across. You're all set. Let's go. All right, awesome. So here we are. Oh, there's the background. I was wondering, like, were they going to put a nice background on there or not, or just leave me hanging? But here we are with the Surface Duo. That's wow. Okay. All right. Contacts here. You can swipe things. What we've seen everyone do. Kind of swipe that start menu left to right there. Let's see what other stuff we have here. Maybe calendar. Maybe Google. Okay. So Google services are already in here. So my mail will sync. Photos. All right, I got my to-do list here, and I can span that. Bring up. See how to shrink that down, just to one side. Move that over to here. Oh, it's easy enough. Now there's a swipe a little bit longer to go away. All right, let's see what else we have. We got our tips, settings. Go on, let's hop in the settings real quickly here. Can settings be spanned out? Oh, yes, it can. Nice, and it's got them split up in a way. Pretty cool there. All right, let's see what we have for, how much storage we actually get here. So it's 128 gigs of storage, but it looks like 15% of that is already used by, by the time you finish setting things up. And looks like that's all between other apps and system and such there. So you get 128 gigs, but really about 100 or so, 108 or so is actually available to you. Okay, I have a battery over there. We'll actually turn on show battery percentage. I always like doing that, just kind of having that in the corner. I just think it's a lot nicer. Oh, we swiped it away here. Bring this back. We have our accounts we can set up. All papers, sounds. Okay, nice. All right, let's take a look at some of these dual applications here. So go back to Discover. If we hit that, that brings up, looks like YouTube. And I got to select our YouTube account here. Microsoft News. Okay. So it brings a couple of pretty cool things up there. All right. We can do learn. All right. So that's already one set up. So we got Microsoft Edge and browse on both screens, capture. Let's get started. So OneNote, which I already have a bunch of OneNote, should, which should start syncing soon enough. We'll go ahead and home that. We could span over here. Okay. Whoops. All right. There we go. Browse on both screens, drag and drop, skip. Not now, not now, not now. Come on, Microsoft. Oh, well, that's random. It just kind of went there like that. Okay. All right. Interesting there. Kind of randomly split. All right. So we can see a split browsing. All right. Interesting. That hinge right there. Let's take a little deeper at that hinge. It really is smooth. Wow. I'm actually surprised by that. Actually, it's very, very smooth. Closes up, opens up perfectly. Nice. Let's go ahead and open this up. Actually, let's do the unlock there. Let's take a look at the camera. Welcome to your camera. Get started with some quick tips. Take a picture. Okay, I think I know how to do this. And you can see there. Nice. 
a portrait mode, I have a panorama mode. So a quick focus on me. Maybe turn down just a little bit to quick shot. That's not too bad, it's pretty fast. All right. We'll head on back out of the camera. We'll definitely take a deeper look into that. I do want to connect my Surface Pen here while we're at it so I can actually use it. I don't believe I'm gonna have to need to connect that in the settings. So let's go to Surface Accessories, Surface Pen, General Writing on the right hand, yep. Okay. Doesn't necessarily let me double connect, okay. Let's pair a new device. Put this most likely into pairing mode of some kind, or I'm doing this wrong, which is possibly could be true, that as well too. All right, let's see, I'm probably doing this wrong. Let's actually read the directions. So let's see if we can, there we go. Tap the customize settings, found it automatically. All right, finally finish setting up later. All right here, there we go. This is the combination that I think we're looking for here. Well, this Microsoft wants us to kind of use. You don't have too many pre-installed applications, just Microsoft's and Google's. Bing's default, of course, on here. Probably to get that one past Google. Icons a square. Yeah, this is a pretty, I'm, I'm pretty interested in this so far. Real basic, real simple. It lays pretty flat, but I'm just excited what multitasking can be done with this, which would be pretty cool to kind of have. Your LinkedIn, your calendar, obviously Office, so sign into that. The Play Store should give you full access to everything. Games and stuff will download. We'll definitely test that out as well, too. So far, I'm kind of impressed. This is actually nice. I just like, the, just like picking it up, and it feels real comfortable in the hand. You can kind of see right here, as I'm holding it, it feels really nice in the hand. And you can kind of hold it like this to read with just two fingers, or three here, as I kind of have holding. Kind of fold it up like this, open it up, get the, let's see if we can get the peak feature going. So just, all right, let's try it again. Oh, we got, I think it's gotta be real light. Oh, there it goes. Slightly, you can slightly see the peak <laughs> right there. All right. Nice hinge right there on the side. Very thin, very light. This is definitely gonna fit in the pocket very well. And I, I, this is a lot smaller than I actually expected it to be. I have big hands, but this fits very well in one hand. And even with it in, uh, spaced out like this, I can easily do it like that. And wow, fits really well in my hand. You can, all right, you can do it here and go into like what I like to call DS mode. <laughs> Rotates into that. Okay, let's try doing some typing real quick here. So we'll actually, can we open up just a fake text message? It looks like it uses Google Messages. Nice. We'll just kind of do maybe not maybe not a text text. Uh, we'll tend to text. Now let's go back here. Let's do actually let's do a fake text to my landlords here. All right, it already has them sort of in one sort of section here. Let's see if I rotate it this way. All right, bring up the keyboard. There it goes at the bottom. There we go. Well, that's not too bad. It's actually a lot more uh, type friendly than I thought it would be. All right. This definitely feels pretty natural here. And you get all your notification shade. Let's actually swipe up and take a little deeper into that. You can see here, not too much in terms of customizing with that. And it doesn't kind of swipe down there all the way at the bottom. You rotate that. Okay. All right. I mean, there's a lot to go over with this and we definitely will do that. Um, probably haven't talked as much as I wanted to about this as, as, as I was expecting to, because I'm just kind of really like, wow, this is pretty cool. I'm just thinking of all the ways I can dive into this here. I like the displays, the way they looked, I think 5.8, I think exactly on displays for each one of them. Uh, the borders are a little bit thick, but I don't mind that. It's not something that kind of, I noticed we got the front facing camera here, got the capabilities of a phone and a PC. Cause like I said, in a video I did a year ago about this, this isn't really designed to replace your phone. This is really designed to sort of be just your, this sort of to be like that pocket PC. That's what I'm feeling this is gonna be. So I'm really interested in definitely putting this to the paces. So definitely stay tuned for that as we'll have plenty of videos on that coming up. You definitely check out this playlist and follow that. As we release Surface videos, you'll be seeing it populate in there. 
And any questions, comments, concerns, post them below. I also have a question for you that what do you think of the Surface Duo? Are you going to get the first generation, the second generation, or you don't think it's a good idea at all? Sound off in the comments. Also at the community tab as well, too. We'll have that over there as well. And, and as always, thanks for watching.